In this video, we'll be ranking the last 30 years of the cat on highway truck engines from best to worst. Before we start this discussion, I'd like to say that the cat on highway truck, while produced by Caterpillar, was a big pile of crap and will not be a part of this discussion. So let's meet the contenders. The Cat 3116, the 3126, the Cat C7, the C7S Acer engine, the C9, the C9S Acer engine, the Cat 3208, the 3306, the Cat 3176, the Cat C10 and C12 will be discussed together as they are nearly identical other than displacement. The Cat C11 and C13 also nearly identical. The Cat 3406B, the 3406 Peak, P-E-E-C engine. The Cat 3406E, the C-15 and the C16, the C15 Acer non-regen engine, and finally the C13 and C15 regen engines. So let's start with the best. It may come as no surprise that in my opinion, the C-15 and C-16 Cat on Highway Truck Diesel Engine are the best produced engines Caterpillar ever made. They're long-lasting, reliable, and a powerful engine that powered many trucks, RVs, and buses throughout the years. If your truck has one of these in it, you're probably a happy trucker. Which gets us to one of the forefathers of the C-15, the 3406B, which I consider to be the best mechanical truck engine Caterpillar ever produced. While not being as powerful and definitely being more leak prone than the C-15, the 3406B, however, was a very reliable and powerful engine in its time of the 1980s and early 90s. If you're looking for something smaller than the 15 liter family, the C10 and C12 engines are great engines. Reliable, easy to work on engines that are lighter and smaller than the 15 liter varieties. They do suffer from a single liner seal, however, and some other coolant leak issues, but in general, in the 12 liter family, they're the best you're gonna find in the CAT lineup. If you want to stay smaller than the 15 liter and don't want an electronic engine, I would recommend the 3306 as being the best 10 liter on highway truck engine that Caterpillar ever produced in a non-electronic variety. These are great long running reliable engines that'll make any owner happy. In the smallest family, the seven liters, we have the 3126. The 3126, which replaced the 3116, is a great seven liter engine. While it does have some problems being a Huey engine and not having replaceable liners, it's an extremely simple, easy to work on engine that can easily get over 300,000 miles if maintained properly. We've talked about the best, now it's time to rate the rest. Starting at the top, we have the 3116. 3116 was Cat's first addition into the seven liter engine family. However, plagued with a complicated internal rack design and copper injector cups, it's still a good engine that is somewhat reliable and easy to fix unless you're doing anything with the fuel system. A good engine overall. Staying in the 7 liter family, we have the C7, which is a good engine. A fairly reliable Huey engine suffered from not having removable liners and having some Huey problems with the fuel system. However, not having hardly any emissions controls and a fairly simple electronic system make it a good engine overall. Unfortunately, the C7 was replaced with the Regen C7S, which in my opinion is the worst engine Caterpillar ever put in a truck. Covered in sensors, typically covered in oil from the variable geometry turbo failing, and also having a complicated Regen system, this is one you want to steer clear of. Moving up in displacement to the C9, which is basically the C7's bigger brother, 
This not very popular engine could make up to 450 horsepower, had removable wet liners, and a similar fuel system to the C7. Mostly found in RVs, it's a good engine overall with some valve train problems. Unfortunately, the C9 was replaced by the Regen C9S, which added a common rail fuel system, a variable geometry turbocharger, and twice as many sensors and emission controls from the previous C9. With possibly the most controversial pick we have today, the 3208, available in turbo and non turbo this engine is just okay. Made very little power, was fairly heavy for its 10 liter size displacement, given that it doesn't have wet liners. However, they're easy starting and somewhat easy to work on. They're just an okay engine. With probably my least familiar engine in this list, the 3176, while it can be a long running engine, is plagued by oil leaks and a weird cam box and front structure design that is known for leaking and cracking. Moving up slightly again in displacement, we have the C11 and C13 Acert non-regen engines. These two turboed workhorses are great in my opinion. Not the best due to their IVAs and two turbo system. They also receive the Adeptape Favorite Engine Award. This logo made by my friend Justin, so shout out to him, thank you JG is to signify that this is my favorite truck engine Caterpillar ever produced. Why is that? It's the first one I ever rebuilt by myself, and also it is the least leak-prone engine, oil leaks-wise, that Cat ever made. Best seals in the industry. Which gets us to the 3406C Peak engine. The Peak engine, while being a good engine, they can run a long time, and having a lot of the same components as the 3406B, I hate these engines. They're my least favorite to work on, mostly due to the early electronics being very difficult to work on for those not familiar with them. Getting to what replaced the peak, the 3406E engine. These engines are great. While I wouldn't consider them to be the best, which is the C-15, they are still great. However, they do suffer from a little bit worse seal designs and also a really heavy, awkward, block strengthener plate under the oil pan. What I consider to be also a great engine, the Acert non-regen C15. Moving up from a 14.6 to a 15.2 liter in the C-15, this two turboed beast is a long running, reliable engine that does suffer from some IVA problems. Getting to the C15 and C13 heavy duty, regen engines. These are without a doubt the worst heavy duty diesel engines that Caterpillar ever produced. While the base of them being very similar to the previous model, they added about twice as many sensors, a EGR system and the dreaded ARD head which cost owners millions of dollars over the years. I hope you enjoyed my list. If you did, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.